Blue Wallet Tutorial How to Use Blue Wallet Mobile App. Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the channel. Today, we're having a look at Blue Wallet, and I'm going to take you through a few of the very simple and straightforward practices. So, of course, the first thing you need to do is um, download Blue Wallet app from your App Store or from your Play Store, and this is what it will look like. And once we go into it, it's pretty straightforward. You will need to, of course, sign up. So once you've signed up, you will get to a page where you can manage everything straight from there. So as you can see over here, this is basically like what your dashboard looks like. And there's a bunch of things that you can do from here. So first of all, in the bottom of the screen, you can tap on scan. Basically, what this is going to do is it's going to allow to scan a QR code so that you can either make a payment or receive a payment. The next thing you are going to do is you are going to go up to the top where it says wallets and here you can actually create a wallet and as you can see I've already created a wallet over here but we can go ahead now and tap on add now. So this will be the first or the second wallet that you create and you can either create a bitcoin wallet and this is for simple and powerful bitcoin transactions then you can also create a lightning wallet and this is for spending with instant transactions and then you have the vault option which has the highest security level for large amounts of funds. So what you're going to do here is you can change the name of your wallet right over here. So what we're going to do is we're going to say wallet 2 and then you can tap on any one of the types of wallets that you want to create. So let us start with the Bitcoin wallet and now you can tap on create. Now before we tap on create, if you do have a wallet from another account or from another platform you can actually import it just by tapping on the import wallet right over here so for now we're just going to tap on create and what happens here is your wallet is now being created and these are the phrases for logging into your account again and doing transactions such as sending funds as well as receiving funds so it says here please take a moment to write down the phrases on a piece of paper and it does state that it's your backup and you can use it to recover your wallet so you cannot screenshot the page as you can see it here the only thing that you can do is in actual fact to write these exact words down then you can tap on okay i wrote it down and your wallet is now created as you can see here we have a wallet and we have wallet 2 which is which wallet i just created now if you want to then create an additional wallet you can just tap on the plus icon in the top of the screen on the right hand side and once you've tapped on that again you can give it another name and then you can tap on the type of wallet that you want and you can then connect that wallet to your account so one of the other things that you need to sort of know is how to manage these wallets. So once you tap on the actual wallet itself, you will be able to now go into the wallet and this is where you can send and receive funds. So on the top right hand side, you have three dots and here you can change your name of the wallet and it also gives you a wallet type. It also gives you transaction details. So it says display in wallet list. You can either turn that on or off. And then it gives you a transaction account and then it also gives you the option to show the addresses that are linked to that account. You can export and back up this wallet and then you can also show the wallet's XPUB and then you can sign or edit a verification message on here. Once you are complete with all the bits and pieces in this page, you can go to the top on the right hand side, you can tap on save. I haven't made any changes, so I'm not going to save that. Now, what we want to do is on the bottom of the screen, there is a send and a receive. And what we can do here is we can tap on receive and it'll ask you again if you have remembered all of those phrases. And if you say, yes, I have, it'll now give you a QR code. Now, this QR code will allow whoever wants to send funds into that account 
can just tap on their um, mobile device and they can scan this QR code. Also, there is a link over here at the bottom. You can use that link. That is a unique link that you can share. So once you tap on it, it says copied and you can now share that wherever you need to whomever you need to receive funds from. And if you want to send funds, it's much the same. You tap on send on the bottom of your page. And right over here, you can either scan or you can enter an address which would have been given to you by the person that you're sending funds to. And then you can also add a note for yourself right over here. And then you can change the set V byte rate and it's either fast medium or slow or you can customize it then you tap on next and here you can basically do the transaction that you need to do and once you have sort of worked all of that out there is an option now on the top right hand side there are three dots you tap that and you can now basically define everything about your account such as your general settings what it does on launch your privacy settings you can also activate advanced mode and it does state when advanced mode is able, enabled you will see advanced options such as different wallet types the ability to specify the lnd hub instance which you wish to connect to and custom entropy during wallet creation so those are some of the options that you can change there you can also change your currency right over here and then you can also change your language and you can change the security settings such as encrypting your password and the network settings you can also go into and you can actually um, toy with the network settings if you have some issues there and then there is some tools and then there's just general information about the actual app itself and there you go, ladies and gentlemen, that is how you can use the Blue Wallet app. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget, you can leave us a like if you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you enjoy our content. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers for now.